welcome back to my channel all right it depends on the time you do your workout but most likely people hardly do workouts during the day it's mostly in the morning or in the night like my own self as an example i do my workouts early in the morning like although due to security reasons i used to leave the house as early as six or to be on the safe side i now had to now start going out let's say from 6 30 to 7. so at that moment the sun hasn't started shining if i miss my morning workout i now shift it to night yes i now normally go ahead and work out at night so basically the times i do my workout there is no sun now there's one very important thing about workout it is sweating off isn't it that's the whole burning fat we're doing all of that that's the whole idea about working out isn't it meanwhile please permit the light i'm using natural light i tell you not to use um any ring light so um when the skin is sweaty sweaty you know our sweat is if in case you don't know i'm telling you but most people know the way that our sweat is usually salty and having salt and that is more of alkaline ish on the skin can make the skin of color especially with the black skin a little bit too sensitive and there's something i never still speak for myself which i believe is like that too for most people when we're walking out there's that tendency of when you're sweating you're either using a handkerchief or you're you know taking off sweat and all of that and the truth of the matter is that any um <laughs> unnecessary trauma on the melanated melanated skin you know what i'm trying to say to you can easily sort of trigger it so therefore after workouts, there are some things that you shouldn't do. Meaning, even if your workout is during the day or during the night, there are some skincare routine that you shouldn't do. What do I mean by that? I told you I work out in the morning. Although when I miss morning, I do night own. So this is at me after my workout, obviously sweating and all that. So I'm going in with my face wash. So as we go on, I'll keep telling you the reason why there are some things you won't do. So either if you're the type that do your workout during the day or night, there are some skincare routines that you will exclude. Let me start by washing my face. Very important. And another very important thing is to take note of, right, is it's advisable to wash your face before you go out for your workout. Yes, it's very, very advisable. Walk, you know, let you sweat on your clean surface. And another thing again, which is very controversial, is some people will say, should they wear makeup going for workouts? <laughs> well, I won't discourage those that want to look good while working out. But to be honest with you, wearing makeup during workouts is not something I really advise. Do you understand? But if you must wear it, there may be something light. You understand? <laughs> but me, I want to won't do that. Honestly speaking, because I sweat a whole lot, honestly speaking, although it still depends on the kind of workouts you do, though, you understand. So very important, use a face wash that does not have any exfoliants. What did I tell you? After workout, the, the fact that we sweat and um, there's maybe contact of the skin, because afterwards, like I said, you might use hanky or towel or anything, there's that. So the skin tends to be very sensitive. So using any exfoliating product is a no, no. Yes, using any exploiting product, I repeat myself, is a no-no, irrespective of the type of time you did the workout, whether during the day or at night, is a no-no. So now I'm just washing. So this face wash I used is from my product line, is infused with clove, right? And clove has this um, a beneficial ingredient in it, eugenol, which happens to be an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, should I keep going? Just know you're dealing with the beneficial ingredients. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm yes. washing my face. That would complain if I know some people. <laughs> Almost everyone that goes through workouts, sweaty and all of that, will notice that after shower, the skin is usually drier than normal after workouts. Um, some of you might want to know the reason. After workouts, your skin becomes dehydrated because you had lost a um, good amount of hydration as a result of workouts. So the skincare routine that will follow, either A, AM or PM, should include a lot of hydration. Like, I could tell a lot of times that people that use toners and essence, sometimes they interchange them. 
myself included. There are times that I use just toners and I keep essence away. There are times I use just essence and I keep toners away. There are times I use both depending on the situation and as well as the weather. But after workouts, the fact that your skin will become dehydrated is even worse when you take hot baths and is even worse if there's any English like that if you have a dry skin. So whatever type of skin you have, replacing hydration after workout is super duper important. So I'm starting with my toner. Yeah, I love to use my hand. If you're the type that I want to use your cutting pad, it's still fine. But personally, I kind of like to use my hand. And this toner, if you're an oldie on this channel, you realize that this toner has good amount of hydration. There are no fragrance. There is also no denatured alcohol. Just good amount of water, rose water, pantanol, vegetable glycerin, sodium lactate, hydration, humectant. Yeah, very important. So, this is it. So, I'll just use my hand fan to facilitate a little bit. Mm. So, moving on to my hydrating essence. And one very important thing to take note of, make sure your hydrating products do not have any exfoliating property. It could have tyrosinase inhibitor um, property because like this um, hydrating essence has a uh, um, licorice in it. Yeah. Um, the toner I used has niacinamide in it at just 1%. So adding niacinamide in your skincare routine after workout is pretty much important. Though I would advise a low um, percentage, right? Not a high one. In as much as I have worked on my skin to be able to take 10% niacinamide. But after a workout, I do not use 10% niacinamide. And one very important thing I want to add, um, in case you are the type that work out during the night, you would have to stay away. I don't know if I've said it already. Stay away from exfoliants. I think I did. And then even retinol. So on nights where I work out, I do not use retinol. I do not use any acids, either lactic acid or even azelaic acid. I do not. I just keep it busy. Especially hydration. Hydration is key. And guess what? I did my workout during the day. It's a morning and, and everyone, the sun is already rising and all of that. But guess what? I am not going to use my antioxidant vitamin C. I'm not going to do that. Because don't forget, in as much as vitamin C is an antioxidant, it also has exfoliating ability. And vitamin C, you know, is a collagen stimulant, so it can make the skin uncomfortable. Basically, the fact that the sweat has stayed on your skin, automatically it has sort of, I won't say temper, but it has sort of like, well, I say distorted the skin barrier. So you have to pamper the skin barrier. You have lost substantial um, amount of hydration. You have to try and replace it. Okay? So that doing workout does not become a problem. Because people that do workout, um, the ones, people that have melasma, they, they claim that their melasma increases, which is yes. Even acne rosacea increased. I remember the first time I started my workout. Oh my God. My acne rosacea flared up. I almost wanted to stop. But being a skincare enthusiast, I had to work on it. So I'm going in with my hydrating essence. Very important. Like I said, hydration is key. I don't think I'll be stepping out of the house. So I might not use... Um, SPF after this but if I'm stepping out of the house I'm going to use my mineral SPF yes if you're an oldie here you would realize that I have never used any chemical SPF <laughs> yeah so just adding another layer hydration at this time at this point is very important it's your best friend very very important too. very important is your bestest of friend, yeah. So take note either you work out during the day or during the time, avoid exfoliant, yeah, exactly. Very important. Hydration is very key. What else? What else? 
So I don't know if you're the type that work out every day. Huh? <laughs> then you have to exfoliate. Maybe, okay, let's say if you work out in the morning, then you might want to use your antioxidant vitamin C at night. Yes, very important. Yeah. So if you are the type that work out during the night alone, then I don't know if you're a skincare enthusiast. So probably you have to look for a way to maybe skip that one night of workout or convert it to daytime so that you'll be able to exfoliate. So what am I trying to say to you? If you do your workout strictly at night, then you would have problem of exfoliating, either physical or chemical exfoliation, right? And... <laughs> If you do it during the morning, which of course we do not exfoliate during the morning, aside from the use of antioxidant like vitamin C during the morning, which needs to be skipped. I don't know if I'm making sense. Just drop it in the comment section if you don't understand what I'm saying. I can still further explain or if it has, if I have to do a follow-up video, I don't mind. So at this point, I'm almost done with my skincare. Like I said, I'm not going out. I'm just going to just rest. I've not even eaten breakfast yet. So I'm going to just chill. So I'm not going out. But if I'm stepping out, definitely my sunscreen is going to be very, very key. So I'm going to I'm just going to seal in all of this hydration with a lightweight moisturizer that moisturizer contains good amount of ceramides and good amount of peptides as well so i'm just going to seal it and then i'm good to go yeah okay so i'm back after workout there's a lot of intake of fluid <laughs> especially water which is very good very very good replacement so I'm going in with my face and body um, lotion here, yeah, and it also contains humectant in its own, on its own, yeah, as well. So it's very important after workout, you have to try and return good amount of hydration to your skin. It's very, very important, yes, as well as including a skin soothing um, product like um a nice namide yeah like i told you in my face wash my face wash um has clove extract it also has humectant in there and it does not have any exfoliants yeah and if you're an oldie here i have spoke a lot about my um face washes there's no active in it <laughs> especially exfoliating active you understand it's just doing what it's supposed to do. And what is that? Just wash. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty much done. And I use natural light. No filter. This is me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I use natural light. <laughs> because I noticed the light is quite good. So I decided to use natural light. Yeah. So at this point, I'm done. If I'm to step out of the house, I would use an SPF. I have a mineral SPF. I use a mineral SPF 30. And if I'm going to stay out too long, of course, I'll have my SPF in my pores and reapply after every two, two hours, irrespective of the type of SPF, a chemical or a mineral one, SPF needs to be reapplied. Although personally, mineral sunscreen works for me better. Like it does the job. Thank you so much and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do give this video a thumbs up. It's very, very important and encourage me so that I can bring in more content. And if you have any content requests, drop it in the comment section and by the special grace of God, I'll bring it up here for you. My people, bye.